So this week we had Ross Rayburn, an American yoga teacher in our school. Uh, Ross, it's a few years ago you were here in Amsterdam. Um, welcome. Thank you. Uh, you finished your week here. Yes. How was it for you? It was amazing. Yeah? Yeah, it was great. It was wonderful. We, um, we had a fantastic time, amazing students here. I love this city so much, so it's <coughs> nice to be back. You so thank you very much for having me. Yeah, it's, it's great to have you here. It's our, it's our pleasure. Um, I know you actually from years ago. Yeah. And um, uh, I'm, I'm also always curious when yoga teachers are here, what, is, what defines yoga for you? Can, can you? can you tell me how would you describe, define yoga? Yeah, this is a great question. You know, for me, I have a very broad definition of yoga. Um, I always like when people... Um, embrace different definitions of yoga because I feel like people are so different to overly limit the definition I think excludes some people and of course it's good to have boundaries but for me I really think you know if you're doing practices that cultivate your awareness you know your sensitivity your appreciation of the world and what other people are thinking but ultimately like your own sense of who you are and how to actually elevate that and deepen that as you get older. Mm -hmm. As long as you're moving sort of in, a, in toward a, an affirmative life and your yoga are the practices that procure that or aid that, I kind of actually put all that into the yoga group. And wow. there's of course specific types of yoga, but I really, again, I love the feeling of broad definitions of yoga that more people are doing yoga than they think they are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, I totally agree actually. Yeah. So you, you did a, a training, a course here, and we call it actually an advanced study. So when students did a 200-hour vinyasa teacher training, there are a lot of, well, ways to, uh, to have a speci spe specialty. Specialty. It's specialty, you call it. And your specialty is yoga therapy. Exactly. Uh, therapeutics, I often use the word, because therapy sounds like mental therapy. Okay. But therapeutics sounds a little bit more of the biomechanical type, which is what I focus on. Okay, so what can students, uh, yoga teachers, expect when they do your course? Well, hopefully a lot of things. I try to integrate philosophy and anatomy. Um, the spiritual side is important because you are helping people address how attitude affects the physiology. So it is definitely a lot of metaphysics, but it's primarily a, a, physics, a, a physical course mm -hmm. with the overall ideas that the, the premise that we take, that the human body is actually quite intelligent. Like the systems of the body that actually heal themselves are quite sophisticated, but we don't actually know necessarily exa you know, exactly what we need. So it's, about a, it's a discovery of figuring out what patterns and what choices, primarily on a physical level, but also on an attitudinal level, you know, what choices and what patterns are going to bring about the healthy responses from the body, mm -hmm. as opposed to which choices are going to cause pain and cause the body to protect itself. And so we try to find those things and essentially find the balances and the symmetries and the harmonies that bring about health rather than bring about pain. Mm -hmm. It's actually really that simple. It's just finding them, of course, is a lifelong quest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it makes it really interesting for people who are teaching yoga, but I think it's really interesting for people though who are just deepening their understanding of yoga right? absolutely so can, absolutely can everybody attain your your course <laughs> attain is a tricky word because you know it's it's hard to say you know it, it can be challenged for some if you don't have a background in body in somatics and yeah. knowing your body of course that's going to be harder but you know, um, ideally, theoretically, the answer is yes, because everybody's got a human body yeah. and everybody's got an internal awareness. So the question is, you know, what your starting point is, like you may need to just get on your yoga mat and mm -hmm. learn the basics, yeah. but ultimately everybody's got the, interior, the intelligence within. The question is just at what point are you ready to kind of step into a serious study of cultivating and using that awareness? Great, I, I, I totally understand. So again, we are very grateful that you were here in our school. It's my pleasure. Did, did you like to, to be here in the New York School? It was fantastic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. everybody's wonderful. And Leia, assisted yeah. me as one of your teachers. She was the best, she was incredible. It's fantastic that you were a couple the whole week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's fantastic. And, and thank you so much. I really appreciate what you've done here. Great, uh, yeah, it actually, um, what, what I do want to know, of course, is do you want to come back? <laughs> <laughs> but no pressure with the camera, no right? <laughs> yes, no of pressure. course. Yeah. Yes, of Great. course. Thank you so Great. much, man. Thank you, Ross. My pleasure. Thank you.